Hello everybody, it's Lisa Brown, Brown Eye Girls Crafting. I hope everybody is having a great day today, Thursday, September the 2nd. Make sure everybody can hear me because you're not going to believe what I just did. I thought I need to get something real quick and I picked up and I stepped on my um, microphone, just like me. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay. I got a new phone, so the sound should be okay. What I'm going to do tonight is I, there is a benefit going on right now for the hurricane from all the crafters, and they're all going and, and doing videos and auctioning off their crafts. Well, I'm having to be very careful this week doing so many crafts because of my hand surgery, which I downgraded to a smaller bandage today. Hey, April. Hey, Francis. Let me see if I can find this on my computer here. So maybe I can see comments right here to the side of me. There I am right there. Kind of help a little bit. Hey, Rita. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Marie. Hey, Marilyn. So what I am making today, I will be auctioning off tomorrow night at 830. Instead of me making a craft tomorrow night at 830 and then um, auctioning that off, Hey, Andrea, I'm going to make this and another one tonight on another event, and I'll be auctioning off two crafts tomorrow. Someone asked me if I was going to put any churches in our shop, and this will be in the shop come Sunday. But this cute little uh, church, and it will sit on a stand. And I've already glued the stand together just because it takes a little while for it to set up. Hey, Rosalind. Um, I've downgraded my bandage, like right here. I did have like a big football thing around it, and it is getting better. Okay, we've got several cutouts. It's got some roof pieces to put on. We have some cute little windows, and I was thinking about the windows, and I thought this would be really cute if you have a stand, have it standing, and then get a little tea light right here, and then when we get these windows glued on, Right here, at night, you could see the lights come through the church. And I thought that would really be cute. I wish I'd thought about it earlier, and I would have grabbed some. But we're going to go ahead and paint this church white. And I'm just going to use the leftover paint that I had from my craft kit this week, because it was sitting here on the table, and I didn't have to go up and look for anything. It is doing a lot better. My finger, I, it's doing a lot better. I can wiggle it. It feels better. A lot better. We're going to paint this church white. And we're going to paint our cross at the top white. And I'm going to make sure I get all sides and not leave any of the edges that we normally have on our uh, cutouts, the laser cut. Got a little hair there. Let me sit here and... I had to find a bigger brush so that I could hold on to it. I just couldn't hang on to those little itty bitty ones. Yeah, tea light would be back great on the back of it. I thought those would really be cute. And somewhere, and it may be in our storage in town, when one of our daughters got married, I had bought some of those little fairy beads and they're little bitty just beads that you take the, the little sticker out in the battery. And they're kind of like the fairy lights that are on a string. But this was just a little bead. And I thought that would be cute. Oh, goodness, Marilyn. Um, hopefully, I've, I've got movement back in my finger. I was more worried about my knuckle. Because that was the probably the worst pain when my finger would lock was my knuckle. The only way I can describe a trigger finger is if you ever had one of the older Barbies and when they started having the removable or the bendable legs, when they open back up, it kind of opened up with the snap and that's how your finger is when you have a trigger finger. And it's no fun. 
Okay, I'm getting all my edges here. I probably have to come back before I auction this and give this another coat of paint on the sides because I want it to look nice. And get that. I'm just painting a good coat of white on this shiplap look that the laser gave. Right, like that. A little bit more white. We're gonna dry it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint the back of it while I still have all my paints out. Get another finger there, my hand's aching a little bit. You know, you don't realize how much you can't do when you have a finger that just doesn't want to work good. It felt good to be able to wash my hair this morning for sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get inside those windows. Normally, I just leave all of that dark, but I want to make sure that it's, it's a pretty white church. I don't have any little and there we have it painted on the front I'm gonna go ahead and dry that real quick and then we're gonna paint the back of it oh goodness I couldn't I couldn't even imagine three fingers one was enough thank you for sprinkling I appreciate it yeah the church is gonna go on Sunday hair. Hey, Karen. Hey, Terry. I'm just going to take my fingernail and I'm going to go through each little slat of that. You could take a, a pair of scissors but I'm going to get the paint out of those grooves because I want to be able to see that shiplap. Just get any excess paint out of it. And I'll show you what I mean right here. You can't avoid getting paint in the shiplap. That's just, it's not easy to it out, but you can always scrape it out of there. You know, at first I thought this would be a great thing to put up for Christmas, but this is something you could have up all year long. I took my fingernail and I just took out the paint that was in those little grooves right there. Let's go ahead and get the back real quick. And I'll get the insides from the back and see if that'll help too. Get the back of our, our cross. And put another coat on the sides here. I got dripping paint, a little bit too much paint. That was just some white chalk paint that I had in that, um, a little bottle. Just Waverly White. Okay. Tell you what trying to hold something when you know you've got one hand bad and being careful. Don't turn on the ice maker. It's too loud. 
Jeff walked in here. The first thing he does when he walks in here is he turns the ice maker on, so I told him not to touch it. Why get a glass of ice water? <laughs> so don't touch the ice water. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and dry this. I need a diaper wipe is what I need. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Vicki. Oh, no, I'm not going to overdo it. I've been really careful. Believe me, I've, I have done very little other than putting a few boxes together. Um, I just said, somebody just asked me where we got the church. It's gonna be on our website come Sunday evening. Yeah, end it on Sunday. Joyce said she's in the store. Oh, uh, thank you, Joyce. Joyce, I hope you're feeling good. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, no, Charlotte, I'm definitely not going to overdo it. Hey, Tracy. I'm being very careful this week. Hey, Patricia, I'm doing really well. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, that was just great. My drip paint was on the front. Still dealing with the nerve pain from the shingles, but other than that, okay. doing pretty good. Well, I had a few drips here on the front. Well, bless your heart, Joyce. She said, I'm just moving slow. <laughs> okay. Where I dripped my paint, it got on the front here, but, but it's all right. We wiped it off. Crystal, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Okay, we get that right there. Get little globs of paint everywhere. Okay. We're going to set that up there. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to take this diaper wipe here, and I have some brown, excuse me, some brown paint. Hey, Teresa Adams. I've got just a little bit here on my diaper wipe. And we're going to stain this little stand. And it's best to use wood glue to stain to uh, put these together. That way they'll hold up. You just match up the insides. It's offset just a little bit. And it makes a really cute stand. Vicki sent you 100 stars. Well, thank you, Vicki. Hey, Peggy Boyles. Checking in from Texas. Hey, Peggy. Hey, your sister's watching. Yeah, Michelle and I are going to go eat lunch here in just a minute. Nice. Where are you going? I don't know. We don't know. Georgia. Right there. I've got that just stain. It's just a really light wood stain. I mean, you could paint them black. You could paint them white. You could do whatever you want, but I'm just going to do mine with a little wood stain. And I'm going to take my little windows, and I'm going to do them black. So they'll stand out on that white. Okay, Michelle, she'll check that out after the video. What's that? Andrea Ross sent you a message. Okay, Andrea, I'll look. You just got paint in your hair. No, I didn't. Somebody said. Oh, well, if I did. <laughs> and I just washed it, too. I'm going to go ahead and... Might just be the gray. Yeah, and it could be the gray right here, because... I need to go get some of it fixed. Oh, you do not. I love it. Michelle said, no, I sent her a message. <laughs> oh. Okay. I've got that one on. And we have another little one. Oops, my paint. Patricia Pearson says you're always on her mind. Oh, thank you, Patricia. 
We think about you a lot over there in the UK, too. I, I tell you what, I thought about you this week. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Our oldest daughter thought she got exposed to COVID. And so she had to wait, and they won't come around Jeff. And um, we had to wait until her test came back to see if she had COVID. And she finally got it back, and she's negative, thank goodness. Well, then Layla, we found out yesterday, she had been exposed um, at school last Friday. And they just got the results, I guess, yesterday. Or maybe it was Thursday, because I know it was five days. So Layla went and got tested this morning. She's negative. Emma's friend, Emma's best friend, and this is going to be a friend that I think Emma will have until her dying day, her dying day because she and Taryn are close. They are thick as thieves. <laughs> and Taryn's mom had it, and Taryn spent the night, so Emma kind of had a secondary exposure. So they haven't came around us in the last three weeks. And so today, everybody's all clear, and I'm going to go pick up my granddaughter from a school. And I can't wait. I, it's not normal for us to not see our granddaughters every day of the week. It's killing us. I don't like it. And so I was thinking how you had to, to go a whole year. And I, I, I don't know how you did it. I, I really don't. Vicki Gallagher said, did I miss doing the July monthly kit? I have the kit. Uh, yes, we did it Monday night, Vicki. Was it Monday night, Tuesday night? Tuesday night. The video's in there, though. I am using my hand, but just to hold the paintbrush, I'm using not the finger that I've had surgery on. I'm being very careful. You're using it lightly. Using it lightly. That's why I'm doing just a very simple project here. Uh, Tanya wants to know where you got the church from. Tanya, we will have this church on our website Sunday evening. Lisa makes this on her Glowforge. She creates it right here at the house. We don't order them in from anywhere. We make them. But this will have the stand. Everything that you see here other than the paint will be in that the kit for the, the church. Hey, Pat Hill. And I know the church stands 14 inches tall. Actually, it'll be a little bit taller because the actual size of the church is 14 inches. But then when you put it on the stand, it's a little taller. Oh, yeah. I, I just I can't even imagine having to do that because we've been around Emma and Layla since the day they were born. I mean, it, it's just hard. Do I want to do the church door black? Yeah, let's do it black. It'll stand out. I would do it red, but that's me. We're going to do this one black. It's going to be a black and white church. Yeah. Monochromatic. And I did go see my grandson, Declan. I got to take care of him for three days. And let me tell you, he is growing like a weed. Judy Bradshaw wants to know, do you know how much this is going to be? Uh, Judy, right now I don't. I'm thinking probably 20. Maybe. I need to weigh it because I don't think it weighs very much at all. It'll be between 20 and 25 probably. Yeah. Final cost. I mean, this... Uh, Plus shipping. This is just... Um, it's really lightweight. All the pieces together make it a little bit heavier, but it's... I think it's going to be a really cute kit. Kimberly says, make sure you put some ice on it when you're done. <laughs> oh, I, believe me, I've, I've got my ice standing... Standing, standing by. Standing at the ready. The nice thing is when Jeff uh, gets his medications in the VA, they send it in a styrofoam container. And it's got probably four or five little bags that we can refreeze every time. We've got a bunch of them. Yeah, we keep, we keep four or five of them in the freezer all the time. But today, I didn't take any pain medication last night. I just taken an anti-inflammatory and I'm doing good. Green babies are one, two, and five. Yeah, one, two. Emma will be six in November, and that doesn't seem possible. How'd that happen? I know. She's a six-year-old. Be a six-year-old. And Layla will be three in October. 
And Emma is already a legend in her own mind. <laughs> she, <something> uh, <laughs> that girl has a vocabulary. She is kind of precocious. Hey, Michelle Wachowski. Sorry I didn't say hey. Lisa was talking. I'm going to tell you a story about Emma and the way she thinks. They're trying to get Layla potty trained, and Layla's doing really, really good. And they have a system. They said, my daughter has a chart, and every time Layla would go into the bathroom, and she would go, she gets a sticker on the page. And so many stickers, you get a prize. Well, Emma was here the other day, and, of course, Layla, she had to go to the bathroom, and she goes right in there, and really good. And Emma comes back, and just really matter of fact, she goes, well, now, Layla, you know you have to have two stickers. You have to go to the bathroom twice in order to get a sticker, which that's not the rule. And she said, and then you have to have 10 of something else in order to get a prize. And Layla's looking at her like, that's not the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but Emma was making the rules twice as hard for Layla. Crystal, you're absolutely right. What's that? Her husband gets those uh, insulin. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. They use theirs for headache packs and everything. We've always got them. But Emma tries to make up the rules, and they're always a little bit more involved for Layla. Well, Emma's going to be a leader, but I tell you what, Layla has got the leadership skills down. Yeah. She's, uh, uh, her... Uh, Layla's more bossy. Her, well, her, day, her daycare teacher said that uh, she's constantly telling everybody in class what to do. You know, get your feet off the table. Hey, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah, Layla's a little boss. Kimberly Ryan, thanks for the stars. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the stars, guys. Oh, Michelle, Emma is oh. a hoot. <laughs> Emma, the other, they, at kindergarten, they, they don't have a mask mandate. It's, you can opt out, and Emma opted herself out. <laughs> I asked Emma, I said, Emma, are you wearing a mask at school? And she said, no, I opted out. And I thought, you're five years old. You don't get to opt out. But now, But that's when the schools didn't have to wear masks. Now I think there's a mandate now that says it's come to pass last night that they're going to require a mask in school, but they have to have an opt out for those parents who don't want their kids to wear a mask. Well, in one of our local schools, not, not the one that Emma goes to, but one of the local schools is shut down. Yeah, and it's, okay, let me get, and students and, yeah. let me move all these pieces here out of the way. We're gonna show you how cute this is gonna be. Mary Richardson, we are both on the mend, I think. <laughs> I hope we're both feeling better. Tammy Freeze wants to know how you're doing today. Doing pretty good. And I can honestly tell you, I have literally done nothing. I unloaded the dishwasher with one hand, but I didn't load it back because Jeff's going to do that. I am? <laughs> okay, this one goes up here. I mean, I mean, I am. I'm probably going to cut out another one for the auction. One that's painted a little bit better. This is just going to be... Okay. Are you doing this on the quick for the video? Yeah, this is for the video tonight. Because I want to use wood glue and I've messed up and used hot glue. Okay, one thing I know I can't do is use a glue gun, so I'm using two different fingers to get the glue gun to go. I need to get some little tea lights and put behind it, though. Oh, that'd be cute. And that idea you had last night was a good idea, too. What's that? With the uh, craft paper. Yeah, I thought about putting some scrapbook paper behind it. Make it look like... Uh... That's how I ended up taking the part off of my microphone, went up to get it. Okay, it would, really make, it would really make it look like, well, even then, you could still put okay. the tea, light, tea lights behind it. 
Isn't that cute? But it would make it look like uh, stained glass. Oh, that would be pretty. Put some stain, stained glass behind it. That would really be pretty. Oh, we almost forgot something here. Yeah, tissue paper, yeah. We have a little wreath. And I've got some green left. Crystal says, a little brown church would be so cute, paired with Ooh. the hymnal, uh, the church in the veil. That would be cute. Janet Stritzel says, hey, friend. Hey, Janet. Counting down the days, aren't we? I get to see Janet here in just a few weeks. I'm excited. Yeah, yellow vellum would look nice. Oh, I have some vellum up there somewhere. So many different ways you can personalize it. Okay, we got two little um, wreaths. Gretchen Witkowski says, good morning. How's your hand? <laughs> My hand is feeling a lot better today. I'm being very, very careful with it. I tell you, this makes me appreciate Tony Wada so bad, so much because she's a one-handed crafter from her surgery. And uh, it makes you appreciate those people, what they go through. Oh, Ooh, that would be cute, that's Judy. A, yeah, that's a neat idea. And Lisa, and Lisa loves that crackle paint anyway. Yeah. Oh, we didn't put on our little ears either. Oh, that's true. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sherry, we're doing well. Lisa's taking it easy and easing into using her hand. We almost forgot the most important parts here. Your sister sent you 100 stars. Thank you, Michelle. Crystal wants to know, is the recovery worse than expected? No. Well. Well, you had a lot of people telling you how it was, though. So you kind of knew. I have had seven surgeries on my shoulders, my elbows, and my arms. This is probably by far the least painful of them. Okay. Now let's look and see, do we really want to put this on here? This one is supposed to go up here. I think having two is just redundant. What do you think? One wreath or two? I don't know if I care for the wreath at all. We want to put the wreath on or not? I'm going to say not put one on the door and put one up here. You think maybe on just the top? <laughs> Kim, I am. Or say no wreath at all. I think that's too big for that one right there. Yeah, I think two is too much. How about the small one on top? How would that look? Put the small one on top? That doesn't look right. Doesn't? Okay. We can put the small one up here. Trying to see what they're saying here. Uh, Gretchen says only on the door. Uh, everybody's kind of just saying only one. Only door on top, only small. Small one on the door, one. Your sister says small one on the door. Elena says on the door. Sheila says no wreath. Uh, no, you're on the right, wrong, Brian, Ice Girls Crafting. Wreath on the door. Small wreath on the door. That's what I think, too. I think small that... Small on the door, yeah. Let's do the small one on the door. I think the other one's way too big. If you put it on the top, it covers the roof, roof detail, Gretchen says. Yeah, I agree there. Yeah. Or none at all, and you can use it year-round because it looks like... makes it look like Christmas. That's true. I may just take that off, and on the one I do put a... a um, what I want to call it, a glue dot or something on it. That way, we could just use it for Christmas and take it off. Okay, let's get it on the stand here. Yeah, everybody's small on the door. Yep. I'm going to put some glue here on the sides. Okay, this isn't going to be the one I'm going to auction off because 
I want to make sure the one I oxygen looks a little bit better painted. Small on the door looks lovely. By the way, Kimberly said you're a train wreck like her. <laughs> oh, believe me, Kimberly. <laughs> ah, a piece of Velcro would work, yeah. That way you could add a... Make sure I've got it all the way to the bottom there. Make sure I've got it. Careful, don't break your cross. Yeah. There we go. Make sure I've got it all the way on the bottom. There yeah, we go. You can add little berry dots on your wreath for Christmas. Oh, that'd be cute, too. Isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah. you know, you could put that little glue dot mm -hmm. on there, and you could put a different door hanger on each, well, that's each month. Well, what somebody said with the Velcro. Yeah. You could Velcro it. But anyway, there is our cute little... Are you selling them? I will be... This kit will be on our website come Sunday night. I think that is adorable. I'm going to have to set it somewhere and put some other stuff with it. But right there, we've got it. Yep, you just keep on chugging. That's all you can do. <laughs> if, I laid down for, if I laid down and gave up from all the surgeries I've had, I wouldn't be here today. That's for sure. This, this has been by far her easiest surgery. Yeah. I think shoulder surgeries are the worst. Oh, we, you, yeah. All of the ice and the machine and the... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, ladies, this is going to be on our website come Sunday. And I want to thank Tracy for always putting together such an awesome craft around the clock. I tell you, if you ever get to meet Tracy in person, it is definitely a treat. We don't have a price on it yet. Probably yeah. between $20 and $25. It's going to depend on how much wood it takes, how many sheets it's going to take. Do you have a sunflower kit? I don't think we no, but I've got one that I've been thinking about cutting out. Ooh. Hey, Francis. Double hip surgery. Who? Oh. Anyway, there you go. I am going to go and have lunch with my sister, and I will see you guys tonight at 830 on my page. And we're going to do another project that will uh, be in the auction tomorrow night at 830 for the Hurricane Ida relief for some crafters. Did you see... Can uh, a prayer be yeah, said Christmas. for our troops? Sure can, Crystal. You want me to do that? Yeah, go ahead. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for uh, everything that you are to us. Uh, Lord, we live in a world that's uh, seemingly in, in chaos. Uh, Lord, especially this moment, we just want to keep the families of our troops uh, at the forefront. Uh, Lord, we want to keep those families of the fallen soldiers, those 13 and possibly more with some in the hospital. Uh, Lord, we just want to lift them up to you. We want you to uh, do as only you can do, bring comfort and aid and peace uh, in this difficult time of grieving uh, for them personally and for us as a nation. Uh, Lord, we thank you for that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyway, thank you guys, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.